so. We're rolling. <laughs> it was probably the, d the day before or the night before um, I got hit up by, I think it was either Seb or Lockie from Man Ray asking if we wanted to play a gig. So I was like, oh yeah, like, where is it? Like, what's, what's the go? Yeah, he was like, oh yeah, have you heard of Sammy's? Like, it's a pretty, pretty cool venue. It should be, should be a good time. And I say yes to everyone. <laughs> and so I, I was like, yep, we're, we're, keen to, we're keen to play. What time? He's like, oh yeah, it's tomorrow night. Be there at like eight o'clock to set up. And I was like, oh, okay, sweet. Easy, <laughs> see what happens. And um, told us where to meet them and we met outside Sammy's, just out the back. One, one dude was like leading us in and we got to like the side entrance and it was kind of just this little alleyway. And right at the end there was this like, they'd put up like this big wooden thing to, so that you couldn't really see the door. And then you like walked around the wooden bit and um, and there was like a curtain and he just like pulled it open. We just like walked in and it was just this huge like, biggest venue we've ever been in. <laughs> it was crazy and it was a really crazy experience because it's somewhere that like the Beatles have played, like Pavement, um, some of our favourite bands, Neil Young even, you know, um, so it was pretty, a pretty unreal experience to be in that kind of uh, space that has all that kind of history. When we go on stage I just like, you kind of just let go and just let it rip and go hard and give it, give it your all I guess. I, I was just almost in a different state of mind or like an out of body experience almost I just like was in the zone and um kept, <laughs> yeah it kind of just went went crazy honestly yeah it was it was an it was a crazy experience yeah aneurysm aneurysm is one of the ones that like it's kind of, we play it at the end of the set and play it when we're all kind of like peaking and just like totally buzzing <laughs> and so we we kind of go off on that one and I can't even remember much of it because it's all just like a blur in my mind because I was just almost a different person you know the, yeah an out-of-body experience and um, I was just jumping around and screaming into the microphone and making noise and <laughs> hoping that it came out came out all right yeah Repercussions, yeah. Uh, what was the repercussions? We uh, we made the we made the front page of the ODT the next day. Someone had told a reporter to come um, come check it out, and so the ODT got a hold of a couple of people and were chatting to them and did a whole write up on it, which kind of defeats the point of what the whole thing was about. But um, it was pretty pretty funny because the ODT went and interviewed the council about it and they had no idea that it happened. Yeah, the council were all fuming about it. I'm like, oh, these guys trespassed and stole stuff from the venue. But it was pretty funny because we actually went back the next day and cleaned it all up. And it was actually nicer <laughs> nicer when we left um, than it was when we, when we first got there. Um, and nobody stole anything and it was like a safe kind of space. But yeah, then because of the council. The council got a hold of the police. Ollie got a call from, from the uh, local policewoman and um, got asked to come in and get interviewed. And um, he, he walked in and she was, to, apparently she, they, they don't really care too much. Like it's, it's not, not really a big deal. Um, they just want to know who was there and what, what kind of went down and if we stole anything. And the council were trying to charge us with trespassing and, and uh, damaging council property and all of that, trying to get us banned from every council building ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, the police were all real good about it. They basically just gave us a warning and told us never to come back. <laughs> so we've, we've stayed away since. <laughs> One thing I learned was to never, uh, never take a camera if you're going to trespass anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that one's for Chatty, not me. <laughs> Don't bring a camera, mate. <laughs> Did you guys make some boiling water? Maybe that one made a bottle. I love making boiling water. That thing's like, this valuable as gold right now. This fucking boiling cut! That's so hot! That's so... Oh, you didn't tell me it was boiling water. Yeah. 
Holy fuck. I said it's boiler. <laughs> no, why the fuck would he just put <laughs> warm water? Yeah. I said pour a bit in your booty so they're warm. Bro, I pour it on my fucking... No, God. <laughs> you pour it straight on your face. Bro, I said, I said it's boiling water, cunt. <laughs>
That's dumping, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>